Pondo checking in once again. This is uh, my new garage gym. Today is uh, June 10th, uh, 2015, and I wanted to bring you guys another um, garage gym tour. This is the new place, this is the new house. Um, so everything here is pretty fresh. Actually, it's quite old equipment. Um, not necessarily old, but it's been stuff that I've been using quite some time. Anyways, um, moved into this uh, big space, big new house. Uh, three car garage and I just wanted to show you guys how I um, you know set up my stuff set up my garage gym a little explanation exactly of what each is for and uh, how I place my stuff so here we start um, first of all I like to have everything organized as you can see here I bought this big rack this is from Costco got it for hundred and fifty bucks um, got a lot of bins and each one of those bins I have all my accessories. I have shoes, bands, um, straps, wraps, things like that. Everything tucked and out of the way. In my old garage gym I used to have everything just kind of lying around, lying on my rack. But this time around I like having everything in their place. Um, so everything is up there, chilling, hanging, easy access and hard to lose. I also have um, in, in my bucket here, I have here the, the uh, Spud Ink um, lat pull down. It's a great piece, I did a review on it as well, so if you guys want to check that out, it's in my page. I actually do have a, a YouTube program, YouTube profile, if you guys want to check it out. I do a lot of product reviews, um, you know, it's a small little channel. Um, I like to give back and kind of let people know what I think about certain products. Everything that I've gotten specifically from Rogue Fitness has always been top notch, so a lot of my gym is Rogue equipment. I'm not necessarily just a CrossFitter. I do a lot of uh, bodybuilding, CrossFit, weightlifting, things like that. Currently I'm just kind of doing what I feel, what I like to do, uh, whatever keeps me happy. Um, this area right here, as you can see, it's kind of like a workstation for me. I do a lot of woodworking, um, electrical work, things like that. It's a sturdy stable table I got from Sam's Club. I installed a TV up here. It's on a really nice swivel mount, so I could actually pull it out three feet from the wall. Uh, I hooked it up to my um, computer, as you can see right there next to my vacuum. Hooked it up to my computer, um, big speakers. It gets really loud in here plenty of bass, but it's it's nice. It's good to have a nice computer. It's actually better than just a TV, you know. It's, uh, I could browse YouTube, I could shop Amazon, I could pay my bills while I'm working out. I moved it on over here. This is somewhat of a free weight section, also as my uh, bar holder section. I got this maxi cam rack. Really, really cheap. I got it from Craigslist. I used to get a lot of stuff from Craigslist. A lot of my money for um, buying garage gym equipment <clears throat> came from Craigslist. I would buy you know, uh, equipment, refurbish them, and resell them. Made a good amount of money. I was able to buy a lot of stuff as well. So Craigslist is a good uh, resource if you know how to use it. Um, I got a set here of dumbbells. These are Rogue Fitness dumbbells. Um, another secret with Rogue is they, uh, they do shipping deals sometime in the year. Um, generally Black Friday, so keep on the lookout guys. So I got these things shipped to my house very, very cheap. Uh, anyways, I got from 25, 35, um, 30, I'm sorry, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. I'm gonna need um, 40s and 60s once the sale happens again, but you know, I have plenty of space in this rack. This thing is built like a tank. And the dumbbells are pretty good as well. I love the Rogue dumbbells, they're very ergonomic. I like the rubber for the fact that they protect your floors when you do drop them versus the pro style dumbbells or just metal hex which I've had before. I've had both and I think the rubbers are the best. Um, I got a six bar holder chilling right in front of my um, water water heater. Uh, kind of hides the ISR, it looks pretty cool. I think it, I think it's pretty cool. It's uh, I, I question the heavy, you know, the the weight capacity of this six bar holder before but in you know I've had in my last garage it was up there for some time and this one it seems to not be budging whatsoever I got my um, safety squat bar from Elite FTS I got an Ivanko curl bar my Black Widow training gear multi grip press bar on top of that is the Ohio power bar the Aleco competition you know that's the expensive the big big bad boy of my garage gym and on top of that is just a sports authority uh, big five I don't know where I got it from I think it was like 40 or 50 bucks and I generally use that bar for uh, landmine work um, I don't really want to scratch at my other bars looks pretty cool I also have another bar hanging over there but we'll talk about it when we get to it um, I have also uh, an again faster box um, it's a uh, 24, 30, 36, wait, wait, I'm sorry, it's like 20, 24, 30. 
Anyways, I got it from the uh, CrossFit Games. I got it from the Klokov booth. Um, I was there when they were breaking down. Quick tip, guys, when you're at the games or some type of uh, fitness event, go to the um, the stall that went, you know, at the end of the event and see if they're breaking stuff down, see if they're selling anything. Uh, most of the time, you could probably get away with some equipment, especially because they don't want to drive it back to their warehouse or whatever. Uh, so, you know, I got that box for free, sweet deal. Also, I want to brag, I got 12 panel solar here in Southern California, uh, 3,500 square foot house. My last electricity bill with air conditioning in the middle of the summer was like six bucks. So uh, if you're into the market of buying a new place, check out solar, it's great guys. And moving on, this I call my uh, posterior chain section, uh, lower body section. Um, really great equipment over here guys. We'll start off with this guy. This is the Rogue um, GHD. It's, uh, it's pretty badass. Abrams 2.0, I believe. It's from Rogue. Got it also on Black Friday along with this bad boy. Great for setups for hyper extensions and GHDs. Uh, often you throw bands in there for extra resistance. It's really sturdy. Very, very, um, well, well, you know, built like a tank technically. And uh, I also did a review on these two items. This is the reverse hyper. I only do uh, one plane at this point. Um, I usually use this uh, machine just for its rehabilitation purposes. Really, really great. I also did a review on it. I did the review of the strap versus the roller attachment. Um, I'll put a link in the description also. Um, another quick pickup from Craigslist. I got this inverter, this teeter inverter. This is the EP560 model, I believe. It comes with the handles. Uh, makes it easier to, you know, invert and uh, kind of teeter back and forth and also the lumbar support right there. It's really good. I like to do this after a heavy squat, heavy, heavy deadlift workout. I like to do, use all these three machines almost every day, um, but most importantly after a uh, very taxing lower extremity or lower body or back workout or whatnot. Moving along, this is my, uh, I don't know what I call this. I used to have this just for stretching, for calisthenics. Then I added this uh, punching bag here. It's a 100 pound punching bag. Plenty of room. You got a mirror in front of it. The, uh, the OG Rogue Banner and the Old Glory. Quick tip, if you're gonna do a flag vertically, please do hang the stars to the left. Otherwise you will get um, flagged on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of patriots out there. Please hang it the correct way and I've learned it the hard way. Um, I got this flooring. This, I got this flooring from Sam's Costco. I'm sorry, Costco. Uh, it's like 12 bucks for an eight panel section. It was probably one of my better investments for the garage gym just because I really do need to focus a lot more on my mobility work. And uh, foam rolling on cement, cold cement, isn't very pleasant. It's very comfortable, it's uh, quite thick, and it has that micro band protection. Um, so I did dedicate an eight foot six, eight by six foot section just for stretching. It's really cool, really great, and it's good for you know uh, kickboxing without your shoes on underneath. It's really nice, pretty durable so far. I got my rumble roller, a few other uh, mobility equipments. I got um, a kettlebell up to 80 pounds over there, 50 pound slam ball, and the supernova. I really love the supernova. It's probably one of my best, most favorite uh, weightlifting, stretching mobility pieces. Um, as you can see, the wall is painted red. Um, red is my favorite color, but everything else is uh, gray. I didn't really want to put too much red. I think too much red is too angry. Uh, paint the garage gym whatever color stimulates you the best. I think gray and red is a good contrasting color. Also, what's really important in the garage gym is lighting. Um, as you can see right here, I put two strip lightings up on the ceiling. They used to be just two dinky CFLs. Uh, anyways, each of those lights have about four T8 lights each, and it puts out a lot of light. And also these garage door openers I included after I moved in. I installed these myself. Um, they're the auto-close feature. The last thing you really want to do is leave your garage door open with all your stuff in. Um, it's from Chamberlain. It closes in within like one, five, or ten minute intervals. It also has a cool sensor right here, so when you're, when you're in the garage gym, it turns on. You just have to walk in and if it senses any movement. Also, um, with the inclusion of the T8 lighting strips, they do sap a lot of energy, so I included these cool little GE timers for those lights. So lighting's great, um, you know, the, the color is great as well. Another thing I did uh, before I moved all my stuff in was epoxy the, the garage floor. Um, epoxy's real good for protecting, you know, the cement, um, for protecting against fluids. 
especially. I actually do park in this little section here. So if my car decides to leak oil, it protects against it. Plus it looks really cool. I used Valspar, it's a two day process, but a week to cure. Um, all you gotta do is, it comes in a kit, so you just gotta etch the concrete. Basically you're, you're roughing up the surface of it, and the second day what you do is you just use the paint, you paint over the whole thing with a roller and a paintbrush, and then you, uh, you spread fleck over it. And basically what you do is you wait a week for, before you do any sort of parking or heavy lifting on it. All right guys, so this is the next part, uh, final part of my gym. Um, right here, this is the Olympic weightlifting slash deadlift section. I got 500 pounds of plates from Rogue. Um, I actually got it from the CrossFit game, so I saved on shipping. It's actually a, a great set, it's a beautiful set. Um, this is the 2014 games, so this is the last ones, Rich Fronting, Kalipa, um, now Julie Fouché will have used an individual competition, so there's a lot of, um, quite a bit of nostalgia there if you're a CrossFit fan. If you're just a strict bodybuilder or a power lifter, you wouldn't know anything that I'm saying. But anyways, it's a great piece. I love them. Uh, I haven't experienced any rattling or any issues with them. I use them for deadlifting as well, so there's about 550 pounds on the bar, so that's more than enough for me. Also, I did decide to create my own change plates, as you can see right here. I got these plates from Sports Authority. Um, what they are is just, you know, regular cheapo plates, and I decided to get some Rust-Oleum spray paint and paint them in the colors I decided. These are not uh, IWF certified colors. What they are is just something I decided upon. The, I did two coats of paint on them, roughed them up a little bit with some sandpaper, and decided to use uh, white uh, contrasting gloss on the letters. It looks really good. It looks really cool. Also, as you can see right there, I have two uh, pulling blocks. These are self-made DIY. They're really easy to make. I mean, there's plenty of information online. I suggest you guys go make them. Also, I had extra pieces, so I made uh, a deficit deadlift or deficit lifting platform. I recently did a video on this platform right here. It's basically just, um, you know, uh, some four by eight pieces of wood laid out and some rubbers on the sides. Please do check out my channel. There's a, uh, I did a video about a week ago on it. It's really, you know, I think I did a good job. Uh, on top of the platform, as you can see, there is a deadlift jack. I got that from Rogue. That's the version two. Um, the nice part, part about the version two is the fact that it comes with UHMW plastic where the uh, bar meets uh, the, the deadlift jack. So it actually protects it. This is my Oki deadlift bar, one of my favorite bars. Actually, every, every bar I have is really sweet. Um, as you can see, this is an extra long bar, extra whippy. Uh, great for deadlifting. All right, guys, so this is the big boy, the, the main attraction, the beast of my gym. It's an RM6 monster rack. Like I said in my previous garage gym tour video, this is basically the safest part of my home. Say if there was an earthquake, this, you know, I would be safe inside it. Uh, hopefully, I, didn't, I don't really want to check it out. I, wanna, I don't want to test it out. I got all the, a lot of the bells and whistles for it. There's still a few things that I want for it. Um, it came, I also bought the adjustable bench too from Rogue. Definitely one of my favorite benches ever for the fact that the, um, the padding is so firm and but yet comfortable at the same time. Um, there's no shoulder play. The, I believe the, the pad is 12 inches in width and there's a lot of adjustability. This, this piece I also did a review on, so please do check it out if you're interested. I got the landmine attached to it. I got the Soranex safety straps. These things alone have probably saved my life uh, over a dozen times. Um, J-cups in the front. I got the Rogue uh, mono lift in the back. Um, you know, I got the Ivanko plates chilling. Love these Ivanko plates. I think these are the most sought after plates most beautiful place you can get. I like the metal over the rubber. I like the metal feel. Also, my girlfriend works out sometimes, so I decided to put the change plates lower near the floor since she's so short. And uh, I got the Matador up top. Over here, you can see I have the XM43. It's really great pull-up pull up bar. Currently, I just use bands for assist, just to use, you know basically get the, get the strength back to do push pull-ups. I stopped doing kipping when I stopped doing CrossFit. Also got the Rogue uh, Insignia up there in the back. Here I got the Sorenex Trigger Bar, another great piece for mobility. Um, do check it out. Sorenex is a great company. I do love Sorenex. I think they're just a little um, priced out in terms of, you know, 
uh, value. The, there's, their quality is great, but they're, you know, the, the, the value, the, the price is just not there for me at this time. Also, I have about 100 pounds of uh, chains hanging in the back. And basically, that's my gym, guys. Um, you know, everything is changing, ever-changing. Definitely got a lot more plans, a lot more things uh, in my mind for me to add. If you do, guys do have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Um, I don't always re re respond the fastest, but I try my best to respond to most of you. Um, please do, you know, keep a uh, good environment, a uh, positive environment uh, in, in, uh, in the comment section. And um, yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, I'm all ears. If you like what you saw, please hit that like button. Um, and please do subscribe. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, see you guys next time. Peace.